I want to show you a little bit about how to use your calculator to convert decimals into construction fractions. And this is a place where that uh, earlier video about setting the fraction resolution for your calculator is makes all the difference. Um, because if, if you have your calculator resolution, your fraction resolution set wrong, then you will convert the um, fraction or the decimal incorrectly. So first you want to just check your fraction resolution. So mine is currently set at a sixteenth of an inch. And uh, on mine, remember the setting the fraction resolution is going to be different from yours. So you have to go back and make sure you know how to do the change the fraction resolution. Mine, I do this. I'm going to do a 64th first. So now I'm going to put in my decimal, 7.42183. Put it in as inches. And then I'm going to do convert inch. And you see how I get 7 and 27 sixty-fourths. So unfortunately I have to put it back in 7.42183 inches. Ah, you'll do this too. I forgot to change my fraction resolution. So go back to my fraction resolution, change it to 30 seconds. 7.42183 inches. Convert inches. And you see how when it's taking it to the nearest 30 second, you get a different number because 30 seconds are less fine a measurement than 64. So you're going to get a different resolution there. So 7 and 13, 30 seconds is what you get at 30 seconds when it's for that same measurement. Okay, so I'm going to change my fraction resolution again. Go to 16th. 7.42183 inches, convert inches, I get 7 and 7 sixteenths inches. So that's how you convert decimal to a fraction. Make sure you have your fraction resolutions set correctly. I just want to show you one other thing really quickly because sometimes people get confused when they ask the calculator to get it to them to the nearest 30 seconds, but it comes out maybe as sixteenths or eighths. Remember that uh, all that means is that the 30 second number that it came up with was an even number, and so it reduced the fraction. So let me just show you an example of that, just so you know not to worry about that when you see it. Make sure that your fraction resolution is set correctly. Um, because that could be the problem, but if you're confident that your fraction resolution is set correctly, then you're okay with, um, if you ask it to, to give you the nearest 64ths and it gives you eighths or something, that's not necessarily wrong. Okay, so I'm going to do this one, 2.8906 inches. I'm going to convert inches. And you see to the 64th, I get 2 and 57 64ths. Now I'm going to go back and change my fraction resolution to 30 seconds. Do the same thing 2.8906 inches, convert inches, and I get 2 and 7 eighths even though I asked it to the nearest 30 seconds. Well, all that means is that the nearest 30 seconds was two and 28 30 seconds. And so that reduces to two and seven eight. So your calculator will always reduce the fraction as much as it can.